another Christmas and here I am again well yes successful yet single no and I'm not in the Christmas spirit at all why am I going on another date that I might have to pay for Are you there yet? I've been calling you. I'm trying to get there, Blythe. I just left work. Please be nice to him. Do not scare him away like you've done the other. E is for L, not Ebenezer. Uh, okay, so his name is Wesley. He's a really nice guy, and he should be waiting on you by the bar. That's the same thing you said about the others, but we'll see. Just trust me on this one. I'm super excited. I can't believe I'm on another date my cousin has arranged. This date, you might enjoy, so relax. All right, Blythe. Well, I'm about to walk inside the restaurant. Okay, I can't wait to hear about your date. Okay, talk to you later. Enjoy your date. Bye. Bye. Excuse me, are you Wesley? I'm afraid not, but I can be. Oh, please, not a chance. Uh, another date, Miss Moore? Yes. This makes what, date number seven this month? Uh, well, look, more so 15, but <laughs> who's counting? Huh, great. Oh, that last date I was on was horrible. You saw it? Yeah. I did. I ended up having to pay for my meal and his. Well, hey, hopefully this date will be better than any of your dates in the past. I hope so. But, we'll see. Hey, we will. What are you drinking in the meantime? Do you use your beverage? Late tray on? You know it. All right, be right up. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me, are you up? And you are? I'm Wesley Saxon. Nice to meet you. Why are you late, Mr. Saxon? I do apologize, Miss Moore. My meeting went a little longer than expected. So I'll understand if you don't want to continue with our afternoon. This is for you. Forgive me for being a few moments late. So what, you just think all women just love roses? 
Roses are not my favorite flower. Okay. So what are your favorite flowers, Miss Moore? Tulips. Note taken. May I? So how was your day? <sighs> my day was long and stressful and what are you doing? Powering off my phone. Why? Why? I like to focus on our conversation. But what are your, your job calls you? Oh, no worries. My assistant takes care of all of that. Besides, he knows my schedule, and he knows I'm out of the office. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> it's fine. Trust me. So you were telling me about your day. Yes, my day was long and stressful, and I still have so much work to do once I leave here. Well, I hope tomorrow's better for you. I hope so, too. So, I'm curious, Mr. Saxon. Please, call me Wesley. Oh. And what were you curious about? What do you do? Your job. Why didn't tell me much about you? I was an athlete before my injury. The league offered me a position, so I started working as a manager for a team in the area. You? I'm an investment advisor. Nice. Mm -hmm. So are you from here? I'm from Maryland. Okay. What about you? South Carolina. South Carolina? Yeah. So how do you and my cousin Blythe know each other then? I don't... Cousins? You and Blythe are cousins? Yes. You know, Blythe never mentioned you guys were cousins. <laughs> she mentioned that you're beautiful. And I agree. <sighs> so you uh, and Blythe are cousins? Yes, she is my only cousin. I do have a sister, but she just relocated to the UK last month. The UK? Mm-hmm. So you ladies have any plans? Maybe going back and forth to the UK? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't have any plans for Christmas. And I won't be going to England yet, but I'm sure Blythe is going to want to do something. And why not? Christmas just hasn't been the same for me. It's just not a big deal to me anymore. That's the opposite for my family. Really? Oh my God, yes. Every year we've got this big Saxon Christmas fest, and this year my mom's gonna host it home. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, excuse me, I have to take this call. Uh, certainly. Hello? Yes. Yes, I sent the files last week. Okay, so I have them handle it. I have to go. Okay, bye bye. Is, is everything okay? Yes, sorry about that. <clears throat> so you were saying? Basically every year, my family goes really big during this time of year. Okay. Have you seen this documentary? No, who is he? Coach Staff Watson, a legendary basketball coach from South Carolina. Huh. Was he your coach? My mentor. He taught me a lot when I was a basketball player. Huh. Do you, do you ball? Do I what? You know, do you ball? Do you play basketball? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fun doesn't exist in my life at the moment. And why not, Miss Moore? Because I work a lot, many hours, and the last thing you ever see me doing is playing basketball. <laughs> do I ball? No. <laughs> Excuse me, let me take this. Elmore speaking. Okay, 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 have them to wait. I'll be there in five minutes. Okay. Well, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Saxon, but as you can see, I am needed in the office. I see. Well, maybe we can meet again sometime. Maybe. Oh, I really need to get going. Uh, L. Hmm. L, I'll, I'll take care of it. I got it. You, you're gonna pay for mine? Yes, I'll take care of it. Oh. Thank you. It was my pleasure. And it was nice to meet you. Merry Christmas, Al. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, did you change your mind? Forgot my coat. Miss Moore left. Yeah, she had to get back to work. You seem to know her. Yeah. So is she always like that? Ever since I met her, man. But I must admit, you outlasted her other dates. Really? 
By the way, I'm Wesley. Ali. Really? <laughs> Some people say Miss Moore and her sister are mean, but deep down inside, when you get to know them, they're really sweet. <laughs> Besides, she must like you. What makes you say that? <laughs> you were late, and she still stayed to meet with you. That's big. One sec. Hey, Mom. Where? You busy? No, not really. I had a date earlier, but uh, she just left. Oh, a date? How'd it go? I mean, it was a little different, but it was OK. What did he say? He said it was just OK. Is that Uncle Marlon in the background? You got it, baby, the one and only. You're home for Christmas already? Yes, I flew in early because I wanted to spend some time with my sister. And we're supposed to be decorating this beautiful tree. But your mother hates an untangling Christmas lights, so she throws that all on me. What? Marlon, give me my phone back. Wes, I called you for two reasons. When are you coming home? I'm not sure. Well, you know, I miss you. Oh, here we go. I can't wait for you to come home, and I want you to stay longer this year. I'll try my best to get there, Mark. You know this is my favorite time of year. I know. You can't let what happened last year stop you from coming home this year. Mom, let me do something nice for you, okay? What's that? How about I fly you here? We have lunch. Go Christmas shopping. Wouldn't you like that? I would. But I also want you to come home. <laughs> okay, Mom. I'll come home. Okay, well, oh, look at that. It's amazing. <laughs> I got so much planned for everybody. So what's the second thing you want to tell me? Oh. Alicia asked about you. Alicia? Asked about me? Mm, well, I saw her in the store and she wanted to know how you were doing. Mom, she doesn't need to ask about me. I've moved on. Let me give you a call after my meeting tonight, okay? We'll talk more. Okay. Oh, call me back. Uh, will do. Bye. Now, why did you tell him you saw Alicia? You know what that girl did to him last year. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, well, now he might not come home, Charlotte. Well, he said he was going to come home, and I don't want him to come home for one day. I want him to stay longer this year. Okay, well, I'm sure he'll stay longer this year, but you can't put so much pressure on him. I mean, you know, all these questions, are you coming home? When are you coming home? I'm not putting any pressure on him. I just want my family to be together. And your family will be together. Is that too much to ask? No. I've been planning this Christmas week for a long time. I want it to be perfect. Okay, sis, it's going to be perfect. Everybody knows you don't play when it comes to your holiday. Oh, right. All right? I mean, he said he was flying you out to see him before, you know, Christmas, so maybe he'll fly back with you. Relax. All right? Now, in the meantime, I need some help untangling these lights. No, that's your job. Shoot something else. <laughs> <laughs> Before we wrap up, I need you all to think of ways to market our players and organization. Guys, social media is the way to reach our fans. We got to be engaging and create fan participation. It's important to maintain an active presence on social media. Let's figure it out. And I'll meet again with you all later today, all right? Good job. Mr. Saxon, sir. Yes, sir. I wanted to ask you a question, but not in front of everyone. What's your question? Can I go home early for Christmas? Early? Why? Our mom called and she needs help with the decoration since you won't be home till Christmas. You talked to mom today? Yeah, and she was very disappointed that you're not staying longer. I mean, you know this is her favorite time of the year. Everyone's coming. Yeah, I know. I'm thinking about it, but I just don't want to go and see... Alicia, right? Alicia and I are over. I've moved on. Have you really moved on? Yes. Hey, I just had to ask, man. Hey. I told Mom I'd fly out to have lunch with me. That's nice, but you know she really wants you home. But, uh, how was the date the other night? It's your favorite cousin? And yes, I know what time it is. You're my only cousin, Blythe. What are you doing here? And you know that key is for emergencies only. Well, I called to tell you I was stopping by, but since you won't answer, and you haven't called me in three hours. 
I thought you might have some company. And what is going on with the Christmas decorations? Oh, girl, here? please, you know I don't do that. No, Blythe, I don't have any company. Besides, I'm way too busy to have anyone over right now. So? So, it's pretty late and you should probably oh, go. Oh, no, no, no. How did your afternoon with Wesley go? That's all I want to know. Well, if you must know, he was late. Really? Yes. What happened? He said his meeting ran longer than he expected. Well, his meetings do run over sometimes, but other than him being a little late, what'd you think about him? Mm, he seemed to be okay. Just okay? Uh, mm -mm. Wesley Saxon is Maryland's most eligible bachelor. Women at work run to him. Oh, really? Yes, really. He has the best personality ever. A great smile. Girl, that man is wealthy, okay? <laughs> and he's such a sweetheart. I cannot believe you're not interested. Blythe, I have my own wealth. And men, they... I have men running to me. <laughs> they run away from you. <laughs> Alright, how she look? She's beautiful. Let me ask you this question. Is she mean? No, no, no. She's just a little stressed. Just a little stressed? Yeah, guess her job. She actually had to leave the date early to go back to work. Her phone kept ringing nonstop. Red flag. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Look, I would leave her alone. I'm just saying, how many talks have we had about you and your dates? I don't remember. You don't want to remember, but we've had many conversations about you. Well, you need to have a conversation with Mr. Saxon about punctuality. Okay, he was late, so I had to end our date early. You left early? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I had to get back to work. You did not do that. Yes, I did. I had to work. <sighs> do me a favor. Take a break from work. Why? Because you work too much, and I just want you to enjoy this Christmas. And hopefully, just hopefully, stop being so mean. I am not mean. Look, me and Jeremy, we went on a double date with two beautiful women. But Jeremy's date, she was rude and mean. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and her phone kept ringing, too. I could not wait for that double date to be over. I, bet. I told Jeremy, look, you need to get out. He took my advice and got out. So take mine, too, baby bro. Yeah, okay. And you said that she left the date early, right? Yeah, so? Another red flag, bro. Obviously, her job is gonna come first and you won't be first priority. Do you know what your staff calls you at work? Miss Moore? No. Behind your back, your nickname is El Benizer. Oh. Huh. Well. Mm -hmm. It's not the worst I've heard. Listen, I'm just telling you what I heard. You need to relax and balance yourself. Well, I don't think I work too much. And I am balanced. I don't know what y'all talking about. What are you doing right now? Working. And you said that she was stressed too, right? So what? So if you're stressed, she's only gonna add more stress to your life. I don't know why I even listen to you. You don't know why you listen to me? No. What happened with Alicia? What, what did I tell you about her? I wait. What? Exactly. You know I was right about her. Not really. Okay. Well, who was there for you when your little heart got broken? Mom. You have not been the same since your parents left and your sister moved away. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hey, well, I'm sleepy. It's time for you to go. Come Carl, on. you are not sleepy. Yes, I am. Let's do lunch tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> we will do lunch, and it is on you. Okay, that's fine. Come on, let's go. And make sure you leave my key. Oh, girl, you can have that one. Another red flag, Wes. Well, hey, you do what you want to do. I'm just trying to help. I mean, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I appreciate you looking out for me, big brother. But I'm good. Hey, it's my job to help. I mean, you, you really should thank me. <laughs> okay. So when are you going home? Uh, in a few days. I'll go home, set up with uh, decorations. Oh, and Mom says she's adding a game night this year. What? Yeah. That'll be fun. 
Yeah, you know it's not a Saxon Christmas without those playing cards. <laughs> Did you not see me coming? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Hello, answer me. Did you not see me coming? I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Moore. What is your name? Uh, my, my name? Yes, your name. What is your name? Uh, um, <laughs> Steven. Steven. Don't let this happen again or you will be unemployed. Yes. Pay attention next time. Move. Miss Moore, I have your blouse. Just leave it there and I'll get it. Your receipt is in the bag. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's me. What, what are you doing here? Ooh. Who's Flowers? I'm ready to go to lunch. Boy, who's Flowers? Yours. Mine? Well, who sent these? <laughs> Did Wesley send these? Maybe, maybe not. Blythe, did he? <laughs> Girl, did he send the flowers? <laughs> yes. Wesley asked me to bring you these when we talked today at the office. You talked to him today at work? You know I had to ask him how did he enjoy his date with you. Hmm. And then he sent my favorite flowers. Okay. So what did he say? <sighs> you know Wesley. He's the type who's only going to say just a little. Okay, so what did he say? He wants to see you again. Then he had to leave to get to a meeting so we couldn't finish our conversation, but you guys are going to be perfect together. I can see it now. The kids, the wedding. Okay, I... now don't get ahead of yourself. You did say that he gets a lot of attention from admirers. Oh, but anyways, enough of that. I am glad you're here because I wanted to ask you, what are we doing for Christmas this year? Last year, Eva and I spent the entire week with you and Garrett. That was so much fun. <laughs> About that. Okay. I didn't know how to tell you this. Just tell me. This year, Garrett wants to take me to the mountains. The mountains? But you don't even ski, Blythe. I can learn, Eleanor. Besides, Garrett is going to be right there to catch me when I fall, which I'm kind of looking forward to, okay? <laughs> I have plenty of little mountains. Don't act like that. Don't get upset because I said I'm going to the mountains. Don't get upset? How am I supposed to not get upset, Blythe? You're literally the only family that I have. Eva's not here. My parents aren't here anymore. I don't have a husband. I got like I just I feel really alone sometimes especially around the holiday season I don't know and I know it's hard since you and Eva lost your parents in a car accident you can hear this I just miss them so much it's gonna be okay yeah I know I just wish that I could meet someone who understands me. I want to have a good Christmas too. And you will. You just have to learn how to enjoy life, even while you're single. It's gonna be okay. Elle, sweetie? Yes? Are you hungry? <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm always hungry. <laughs> Let's go get you something to eat. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, son, my flight lands at 11 a.m. Okay, I'll have my assistant pick you up. Perfect. You know you're coming back home with me, right? <laughs> I hear you, Mom. I'll see you in a few. Oh, I can't wait to see you. Bye. Welcome to Rivertown Bistro, ladies. What can we get you started off with here to drink? Your usual, Miss Moore, Lake Trayon? You know. All right. I'll have the same. Okay, I'll be right back shortly with your Thank drinks. Thank you. Not today. What? 
put your phone down. <sighs> They're sent. My phone is on the table, face down. And when it makes an alert, you will not pick it up again. You have to learn to be away from your phone so you can enjoy life. It's my job. It's my job. Mm. If Uncle Marvin knew that this job was having an effect on his girls like this, he would be so disappointed. Are you ready to order? Yes, I will have your lunch special. Okay, all right. I'll have the same. Okay, we'll be right back. Thank you. So, I was thinking that we can go to like, hey, what is wrong with you? He's here, what is, hold on. Wesley, yes. Did you know he was coming? No, I did not know. What is he meeting with someone? He's just sitting over there. Well, go over there and sit with him then. I am not. Why not? Because then, You'll be alone. <laughs> I will be perfectly fine sitting here alone. I'm in a relationship. I am not going over there. That man could be your Christmas gift. Go. No. Eleanor Moore, we just talked about you being a little more open and getting to know someone. Just go say hello and thank a little flowers. Okay? Okay. You're right. I'll go. Good, and sit with them too. I'll be right back. Wait, wait. How do I look? I got anything in my teeth. Oh, so now you want to ask me Girl, how? How do I look? You look good. Now come over there and talk to me. All right. Mom, I'm so glad you could have lunch with me. Oh, I'm glad you had time to spend with your mother, son. Absolutely, it's the least I can do. Besides, I can tell how much you miss seeing me. I do. So I wanted to do something nice for you. Okay, Mom, what is it? You know I can tell when something's on your mind. Well, your uncle told me not to say anything. But I gotta know, are you gonna stay longer this year? Uncle Marlon and I talked about a few things. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking about it, but... But nothing. It's Christmas. This is our time to be together as a family. So, what is there to think about? I think you should try the crab cakes. Mm. They're amazing here. Just like you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you are your father's son. <laughs> Such a charmer. Oh, my goodness. Mom, do you remember that date I was telling you about? The one that left early? That's the one. Yeah. I'd like to see you again. Oh. You don't have a number? <laughs> Not exactly. She she left before I could get it. She had to work early. Oh, okay. Thank you. you. Mm -hmm. Well, I could tell you liked her. How? Well, you just, the way you smile. I mean, I can only imagine if she was standing right here, you would just be cheesing and... I would still be cool. Mm-hmm. Just like Pops taught me. Okay, Mr. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you eat? The crab cakes, Mom. Enjoy, ladies. Thank you. This looks amazing. Doesn't this look amazing? Hello. I'm sorry. What'd you say? It doesn't matter. Did you speak to Wesley? No. I didn't go. Why not? Because some lady over there has his attention. Oh, girl. I have no clue who she is. You don't? No. I should walk over there and say, oh, really? Another date? Like we weren't just phone one a few days ago. No. I think we should think about it before we go marching over there because we don't know who this woman could be. Mm -mm. No. Nope. L. That's it. L. I'm going. It's Christmas I'm and I'm gonna keep my job. Excuse me, Wesley. L. Hmm. What a surprise. Hmm. Uh, meet my mom. 
Charlotte, Saxon. Your mom. Yes. <laughs> Your mom! Isn't this lovely? How are you doing, Mrs. Saxon? Oh, I'm doing well, Elle. <laughs> it's great to meet you. You too. Mm -hmm. Wesley, I just wanted to come over and thank you for the flowers. That was very thoughtful of you. It was my pleasure. <laughs> I, I wanted to make up for being late to our day. So how are you? Would you like to join us? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to impose. Oh, neither one. No, no, no. I, it's fine. I don't want to impose. I see you're enjoying your meal with your mom. Uh -huh. I just saw you and wanted to come speak. <laughs> well, Miss Saxon, it was very nice to meet you. Oh, same here. Hopefully I'll get to see you again, yeah? Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy your lunch. Okay. I know you're really busy, but if you could squeeze me into your schedule, I would love for us to go on another date. Soon. Uh, I don't know. I'm really busy right now. It's fourth quarter. I have so many meetings and papers that... No, I, I get it. I get it. You're, you're really busy. You know what? Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, do you mind if I get your number? My to number? Give My... you details? Right. <laughs> You left early last time. <laughs> My mom thinks you're beautiful. Really? <laughs> well, I better, better get back get to my back mom. To yeah, I just, I'll, 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 I'll go. Okay. See you. <sighs> Did I just see? Wesley Saxon give you his phone to put your number in it. Yes, and he asked me to go out with him too. He did? Yes. Who was the woman? His mother. See, girl, you always jump to conclusions. If you just listen to me, I'm trying to get you a husband, okay? Okay. <laughs> There you are. I figured I'd find you here. What's up? None. Just packing for Carolina. Oh, yeah. You're leaving. When? After the game. Cool. So, how was dinner with Mom the other day? That's not what you want to know. And you are absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> now, Faith told me that Mom met Ely Ishe. It's Elle. Hmm. What'd she say? She thanked me for the flowers. Oh, OK. She has manners. She does. Why haven't I met her, Wes? You've been busy, uh, in and out of town. But you'll meet her soon. Soon? Oh, yeah. Thinking about inviting her home for Christmas. Christmas where? In South Carolina. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, bro. You're moving too fast. I don't want her to be alone for the holidays, right? She's just going to ruin Christmas for us. No, she won't. I'm only saying. Anyway, I need to know, are you ready for the biggest rivalry game of the year? Come on. I, I won't be able to go. Oh, come on. You're, you're going to miss the game all of a sudden you can't go? Why? I invited Elle to go on another date with me. Are you serious? I am. You're going to miss the biggest game of the year to go on a date with her? Yes. And if you could get a date, you would too. But why didn't you invite me? Because it's a date. Oh. You're right. I'll be home anyway. Great. So. Are you going to go pick up Elle? If she wants me to pick her up, or if she wants me to meet her there, it's whatever she wants me to do. Complicated already. Why can't she just ride in the car with you? You're not giving this girl a chance at all. I've dated girls her type. You need to listen to me. I'm in my room. What is going on in here? I can't find anything to wear. Did you put this much effort into all your other dates? You just think you so funny, huh? <laughs> I'm only asking. They have so much to wear. Why are you stressing? What time is it? 
6.45. Six four, it's already 6.45? Okay, Look at okay. me. Calm down. I'm going to help you. Okay. I'll get your outfit. You go do your hair. Okay. Eleanor Moore, relax, smile, turn your phone off and just enjoy yourself for once. <clears throat> You're gorgeous. Thank you. You ready to go in? Yeah. Let's go. Time so did I. I didn't know you were friends with the saxophonist. Really good friends, actually. Okay. Listen, I want to ask you something. Sure. What is it? I'm going home soon, and I'd like to know if you'd like to come and spend Christmas in Carolina with me. Only <laughs> if you're comfortable with the idea of spending Christmas in Carolina with my family. Mm -hmm. You heard about my family. We've got this really big Christmas fest, and every year my mom hosts a game night. Mm -hmm. We have this church event. We just really got a lot going on. I know. Yes. I would love to spend Christmas in Carolina with you. I'm sorry. Not a good time, Ryan. Listen, I'll call you later, okay? Sorry about that. <laughs> Thought my phone was on vibrate. Clearly, I was wrong. Clearly. So, uh, what were we? You were walking me to my car. Okay. He said he and his girlfriend will be here tomorrow. Girlfriend? Your brother and his girlfriend will be here tomorrow. Look, Mom, I don't think this girl is right for Wes. Look, he's just going to fall in love easily and get his heart broken. I'm just trying to help him. Ryan, stay out of that. Stay out of it? I can't. He's my brother, and it's my job to protect him. Oh, 
honey, you've always been a great protector, but sometimes you do too much. What do I do, Ma? Uncle Marlon, I can talk to you. Yeah, nephew. Now, you know I've always been very protective when it comes to my siblings. Yeah, like me. Exactly. And I just told your sister, my beautiful mom, mm -hmm. that I don't think this girl is right for Wesley. Do you know what she told me? Stay out of that, Ryan. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Whenever your brother starts dating somebody, you always have a problem. He seems happy, so stay out of it. And when she comes, be nice. Oh, Mom, did you finish hanging those lights, man? You too serious. She's great. Really worried about the lights. Yeah. Hey, knock that off back there. Ugh. Oh, it was you. Come here. What you want? Uh, that was... Your apple? Here you are. This is a little piece. You want a whole apple? Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, uh, I think Wes might be serious. What do you mean? He called me a couple of days ago talking about how he feel about that girl, Elle. Oh, what did he say? I wouldn't be surprised if he asked her to marry him. You think he's going to propose? Wouldn't be surprised at all. What? Listen, all I want is for Christmas to go out without a hitch. No mishaps. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Ain't gonna be no hitches or mishaps, all right? Relax, sis. We got this. And where is Dr. John? He called and said he's on his way. Cool. It's gonna be a good day. Dr. John is on his way. That's right. Yeah. There's some, some lights to be hung. All right, I'm going to get the lights. Thank you. All right, sis. Dr. John is on his way. I can't believe it's almost time to meet your family. Are you ready? I am. I can't wait to meet them. They can't wait to meet you. <laughs> I've been telling them just how wonderful you are. Oh, you think I'm wonderful? Of course. <laughs> Call me when you leave work. Okay. Oh, Miss... Stay then, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes. You did this again? I'm sorry, Miss Moore. Please, it was an accident. I... Please don't send me to the unemployment it's line. It's okay. I... It's okay. You're not going there. Accidents happen. Just... Try not to have your boxes stacked so high or you can't see around them. Yes, that's a good idea. Here you go. Hey, Christmas, Stephen. Mom, what's up? Elle, why are you still working? I'm just finishing up a few things here. I thought you left already. Not yet. <sighs> I wanted to see you before we did leave. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna be okay? I will be fine. When are you and Wesley leaving? Wesley's gonna pick me up this afternoon. <sighs> I'm so excited for you. Girl, thank you for introducing us. You got this one date right this time. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm just glad it's working out between you two. <sighs> Me too. I don't know. It just feels... It just feels, like, right with him. Yeah. Like we've known each other for a long time. Oh. Are you in love? Do you love him? I, it's too soon to say Elle, that. Stop. Do you love him? I could. I, I don't know. Does he know that? No. Nope. I am not telling him that. And why not? Because he can tell me first. Elle, 
if you really feel this way about Wesley, you need to express to him how you feel. But what if he doesn't feel the same? What if he does? Listen, when you get there, you need to charm the pants off his mom, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. If you win the mom, you win the man. Mm -hmm. Everything she says is funny. And I mean everything, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you need to do the laugh. The laugh? Take note. What is that? At Welcome to my home. <sighs> I'm sure my family's anxious to meet you. You think they'll like me? Absolutely. They'll love you. Relax me. I'm trying to. I'm just a little nervous. My family. Everything's gonna be great. I got you. Okay. Ready to go in? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> hey. West! Hey! Meet Elle. Elle, nice to meet you. <laughs> Faith. Nice to meet you too. You as well, yeah. Where's yeah. mom and dad? Okay, so mom's in the kitchen, but dad couldn't make it, so. I know. All right, well, let it's me go okay. see everybody. All right, all right, all right. I'll see you. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. Got it. Merry Christmas. Nephew! Good to see you, baby boy. Oh, I thought you were going to bring Everybody me. meet my girlfriend, Elle. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. It's so good to see you again. It's good to see you, too, Miss Saxon. Mm. You have a lovely home. Oh. Decorated very nicely. Thank you. It's our favorite time of year. And please, call me Charlotte. <laughs> so I've been told. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Mom, is the food ready? Yes, but we're not ready to eat. Uncle Marlon, are those your famous cinnamon rolls I smell in the oven? Yep, just put them in a little while ago. My uncle makes the best cinnamon rolls. Everybody loves them. Facts, 100. <laughs> <laughs> I got one with your name on it if you like that. I would love that. Uh, Look, so where's your luggage? In the car. I was actually about to go get them. OK, well, while you go get the luggage, I'll show you where you'll be staying. OK. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wesley! What's up, bro? What up, baby, bro? You just getting in? Yeah, about 10 minutes ago. Where's uh, Ishe? Ile it's L. Oh, okay. I don't see you. She changed her mind? Hey, she's with your mother, all right? Now, how'd you meet her? My well, mutual friend set us up, huh? And after our first date ended, I wanted to see you again. So he brings her here to ruin our Christmas? No, she won't. That's what you think. Hey, 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 all right, you two. Now, listen, you know how special this holiday is to your mother, okay? Now, I promised her everything was going to go smoothly, and I don't want any issues out of you two, or it's going to be problems and repercussions. You understand that, Wes? Yes, sir. Ryan? Yes, sir. All right, now let's go get that girl's luggage. Come on. 
Nephew, you did good, huh? You think so, Uncle? Well? Yeah, she got an auntie? Yeah, <laughs> she does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wow, this room is beautiful, Miss Saxon. Uh, I meant Charlotte. <laughs> Thank you, I tried to make it really comfortable for you, sweetie. Oh, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Really? Huh. It's one of my favorite snow globes. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, I'll see you downstairs for the family game night. Okay, okay. sounds exciting. <laughs> Sweetie, make yourself at home. We have more than enough. Thank you so much. I will. You okay? I am. Your family is so nice. And there's so many of you. Oh yeah, there's a lot of us all right. And more. Oh. These are the ones who can make it here for Christmas. I love it. Got to play a game? Sure. Hello. Hello. Should I play some cards? Sure. I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you, Ryan. You look so familiar. Have we met before? Uh, no. I feel like we've met before. I don't remember meeting you. Are you sure? She we said no, Ryan. But Wesley has told me a lot of great things about you. Yeah. Yeah. That's good to know. Oh gosh. I haven't played this game since I was young. Yo, you got a minute? Yeah, what's up? Nothing. I just wanted to say that L, right? That's right. L seems pretty cool, but she looks so familiar. Like, I met her before. What do you mean? I can't quite put my finger on it, but she knows me, Wes. She never mentioned you. Ask her, does she know me? I'm not gonna ask her that because she does not know you. Listen, don't start. Besides, the only question I'm going to ask her is, will you marry me? Marry you? Why? I love her. Look, she's not right for you, bro. You're right. She's perfect for me. As a matter of fact, I'm picking up her engagement ring soon. Look, you're making a terrible mistake. My mind is already made up, Ryan. You sure you want to do this? <clears throat> I am. All right.
Oh, these past few days have been amazing. I'm having so much fun. Are you? Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. I can't believe Christmas Eve is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, can I help you do anything or? Oh, sure, I don't turn down help. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> you know, I sure love seeing you and Wesley smile. Oh, he's such a wonderful man, Charlotte. He's just so understanding, kind-hearted and funny. Mm -hmm. I love him. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just haven't really had the courage to tell him yet. Oh, just tell him. I'm sure he'll say the same thing to you. You think so? I know so. Okay. Well, I will. <laughs> you know, you two remind me of me and John. We do? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can't play with it, baby. You gotta, you gotta oh, whisk okay it now. now. Okay. Gotta get in there. <laughs> like Good. That. Good. So I um, picked up Elle's engagement ring today. You seriously don't ask her? Yeah, I am. What if she does the same thing that Alicia did to you? <laughs> She's not Alicia. And besides, I can't let that stop me from asking. I want to marry her. And when do you plan to do this? I was thinking about tomorrow night. Plan to take her for a stroll on the river walk. As cold as it is, you want to propose on the river walk? Whenever I'm around L, I can only feel a warmth. Look, bro, for the last time, wake up. She's not being truthful. Chill, with you. chill, right? All right? Okay, Wes, I tried to warn you. Or she's just gonna break your heart like a leash. No, she won't. Hey Ryan, where's Wesley? Okay, maybe he didn't hear me. Hey Ryan, have you seen Wesley? Where's my cinnamon roll? There's only one left. Oh, I have it. But here, you can have it. Are you seriously gonna pretend to not know me? Excuse me? You went on a date with me. How could you do this to my brother? Do what to your brother? By not telling him the truth. Ryan, I haven't lied to your brother. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you gonna tell him? Or do I need to tell him? Tell him what? Yeah. Tell me what? Look, Wes, I know this is hard for you to hear, but your girlfriend is a liar. Excuse what? me? I'm only trying to help you, Wes. You're not helping. Why do you always get so jealous? Jealous of you? I'm telling you the truth. About what? Yeah, what? Remember the double date I told you about? That's her. She was with Jeremy. Who, who is Jeremy? She's not even being honest with you. I told you to leave her alone. Wesley, I haven't lied to you. I don't know what your brother is talking about. Then you're gonna believe her over me. Yeah, I am. She hasn't lied to me. Look, I know you're upset, Wes. Upset? Upset doesn't even begin to describe it. Since I first told you about Elle, you've been nagging about it the entire time. And I'm only trying to help you. Oh, you're not helping. Just like you didn't help with Alicia. You're doing the same thing to Elle that you did with Alicia. And it wasn't my fault. I told you she wasn't right for you. It is. And you know how much I loved Alicia. But I'm in love with Elle. Good job. Ryan. Come here. Uncle Marlon. Wes needs to know. That's their relationship, their business. 
You don't need to interfere. What are you doing, man? Look, your brother loves her. And if you love him, you'll accept that. L. L. Uh, uh, you okay? Not right now, Charlotte. L. Why are you packing? At least stay for the Christmas program tomorrow. The one time everything is going perfect in my life, this has to happen. L, listen, everything is still going great in your life. Not right now. Listen. Wait a minute. I think all of us are familiar with social media and the various platforms on social media and the fact that when an individual sets up on social media, he or she sets up a profile, personal, professional profile. And a part of the personal profile that typically is used is a question like, what is your relationship status? And they're the typical one, single, married, and then there's that one, it's complicated. Uh, I'm not going to ask how many of you have as your relationship status, it's complicated. Uh, the story of, of Christmas is about a couple. If Mary and Joseph had had Facebook 2,000 years ago, they definitely could have placed as their relationship status, it's complicated. What had begun as a normal situation Are you okay? for those times, it was a situation talk. that was called betrothal. Betrothal uh, okay. is very similar to what we now call engagement. And uh, they were going along steadily until a totally unexpected issue arose that threatened the very fabric of their flow. We're blessed tonight because what began as a complicated relationship instead of breaking down, broke through. And that's the whole point of Christmas. When Jesus came, it was a complicated moment in history to a complicated world. But love broke through. It always does, it always will. And so was it complicated? Yes. But is it impossible? No. Because with God, nothing shall be impossible. May God bless you. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin. Is everything okay? You didn't say much in the car. I've been thinking. About what? This is difficult for me to say to you. Tell me. I've been thinking and maybe your brother is right. Maybe we aren't good for each other. He isn't right. Maybe this isn't good for us. What do you mean? I mean, this isn't going to work out between us, Wesley. Elle, please don't do this. Listen, seeing you and your family together makes me wish I had that in my life. This is the best Christmas I've had in a long time, but maybe this just isn't the right time for us. 
Maybe we need to end our relationship. Oh. I don't want to end our relationship. Maybe we aren't meant for each other. It's clear you're still not over Alicia. L. L. She ended the relationship with me tonight. Oh, oh what, what happened? She said that this wasn't the right time and that we are meant for each other. I tried to apologize again to her. Well, where is she now? I don't know. I keep calling, but she won't pick up my calls. Hey, bro, can I talk to you for a minute? Look, I apologize for everything. Honestly, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's fine, man. It's fine. Will you help me find out? Yeah. I need to apologize to her, too. Uncle, we'll be back. All right, well, you know, we should try to call her again. It's getting late. That girl shouldn't be out there by herself now. Uncle, um, I'll stay all night until I find her. Yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Let's roll. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, Charlotte, thank you so much for welcoming me into your family. This Christmas has been amazing. Oh, Ella, it's been a pleasure. I hate that you're leaving so soon, but hopefully I'll see you again. Hopefully. Uh, uh, this is from us. Oh. John and I love you, and you are welcome here anytime. Oh, thank you so much, Charlotte. Hey, Elle, uh, I just wanted to apologize. Never gave you a fair chance. Please forgive me. I forgive you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> My brother, he really loves you. And I love him too. Where is Wesley? I hadn't seen him. Oh. Now, as promised, I'll take you to the airport. Okay. You ready? I am. Okay. <laughs> Hell. I've let you leave twice already. I won't let you leave until you hear what I have to say. I'm in love with you. And there's no other person I'd rather spend the rest of my life with but you. Eleanor, Christine, Moore. Will you marry me? Yes, I will marry you. <laughs> yeah! Belight, what are you doing here? Wesley wanted us all here. You 
No, I was not going to get some. All flew in to be with you. <laughs> Girl, look at it. Hold up, hold up. She was the one I was on a double date with, Jeremy. Oh, yeah. I never thought I would be standing here with a ring. But one thing I learned on this journey is to be open to new things. Relax. And remember, love will always break through when you least expect it. Meeting Wesley was the best moment in my life. I can't wait for next Christmas. <laughs>